Hello, it has been such a long time since I've done a sit down video. I used to kind of like toss it up and do some, but I don't really do that anymore. I just like vlogging. <laughs> but this is a video that I have wanted to do. I mean, ever since I started high school, I've always thought, oh my gosh, I can do one of these videos one day. And now that I'm a senior, I can. And that is giving advice to incoming freshmen or just, you know, people coming into the high school scene soon, so. I have lived through the high school experience pretty much all the way. I am a senior this year, and man, have I learned a lot. So I'm going to share my wisdom with you today, if you would call it wisdom. So first, I feel like this is something that not, I guess I wouldn't say struggled with, but I feel like you always hear people say high school is the most amazing four years of your life. It's the best four years of your life. And I'm here to tell you that high school, I mean, everyone has a different high school experience. I feel like that's known. But personally, I'm not the one to say that high school was the most amazing four years of my life because it wasn't. I have hated high school. I mean, he's a strong word. I just, I don't, I have not enjoyed my time in high school. It's not my favorite and it may not be yours and that's okay. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong or like you're missing something. Like high school, it's not like high school musical. I feel like that's pretty obvious, but it's glamorized on TV. It's not all it's built up to be and that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the most amazing four years of your life. And if it is, congratulations. Wish that could be me, but <laughs> you still have so much more life to live outside of high school. It doesn't even matter. With that being said, live up every moment and every opportunity you get. Even though high school might not be the most amazing, the best memories I have are at the football games, at the school dances, at the assemblies and pep rallies. Going to that stuff is really fun and is something you are going to carry with you for the rest of your life. And not only is it something I always remember, but going to those events and socializing and doing those things has made me grow so much. Like, I feel like school dances especially, a lot of people don't want to go to those, which is fine. You don't have to go to a school dance if you don't want to go to a school dance. But like, I know at my school they say, oh, I don't want to go, the music sucks. Who cares? You only live once. Go, it's, it is what you make of it. If you go and you dance and you have fun despite what the music is, it, it literally doesn't matter. It's just, it's fun to do those type of things. Don't be focused on one click or like, or just being popular. It's really stupid. My school, one thing, there's a lot of things I don't like about my school or my school district, but one thing about my school is it's very clicky. Whether people want to admit it or not, it is very clicky. And I hate that because I feel like personally, I mix into tons of different ones. Like I do choir and I, there's an ant on my water cup. I'm in concert choir, so I have friends in that group. I talk to underclassmen, so I have friends in that group. Whenever our, there were upperclassmen ahead of me, I had some friends there, so you know I was part of that group. And I have friends that are in the palms team, and I have friends from the volleyball team, and you know more athletic clique. So I'm one of those people that mixes around and that made it hard for me to find friends because I wasn't necessarily thinking about oh I want to be friends with this person here or I can't be friends with them because blah 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 blah. I wanted to be friends with everyone and not everyone wanted to be friends with me. I don't know if someone would see me hanging out with like a concert choir like they might not want to associate with me because they're in this group. It's really stupid. Don't be like that please. It's ridiculous. That being said, don't try to be popular. It's seriously, what's the point? Literally, what's the point? Couldn't tell ya. I f and I feel like being considered popular by people would be so miserable. I feel like the people that you surround yourself with when you're in that position, they're just so fake. Like, you wanna have fake friends? Why would you do that to yourself? Come on now. Like, there's no point. We're all the same. You don't have to be better than everyone else or feel better than everyone else with that being said it doesn't matter who has a better phone or a more expensive car or a better house or belongings we're all the same and it doesn't matter you just have to treat each other like that i feel like that is one huge problem in high school is everyone has everyone thinks that they're like the most amazing person in the whole entire world and that their crap don't stink well guess what it does everyone does okay stay away from drama now I know that's easier said than done 
and I know we're all human, and it's just natural, you know? Whether you want to admit it or not, we all gossip. We all do it. We've all talked behind someone's back. It's just how life is. And, you know, sometimes we have to own up to it, but I realized this early in my life. I don't think people realize how much drama weighs on your mental health and your overall health, like happiness and health. Like, even if you're not in the drama, but you're around the drama, mind-boggling difference. I used to always end up getting thrown in the middle or like just a part of the friend group that always had drama going on. And while I loved those friends individually as a group, the drama was just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> I would always feel so guilty and so anxious all the time and it really weighed down like I already struggle a little bit with some depression stuff and it just weighed down on me so much even more like I still remember some nights just crying to my mom because I was so sick and tired of the drama and the second I cut that out of my life the second I stopped listening to it and being around it and even like I started being more positive well I guess I shouldn't say that and the second I started not that I fed into it but like I mean, teenage girls gossip, right? The moment I stopped investing energy into that, following the trend of that, my happiness changed so much. Work hard. A lot of people slack off in high school, and I honestly don't understand why. High school is a really important time, and while people may say that, you know, your grades, like, years from now won't matter, or they won't look at your grades from high school, blah, blah, blah. Colleges will, and it makes it a lot easier like if you take the time and work hard, you don't even have to be a straight A student. Like just putting a little bit of effort in, like come on, it's not that hard. It makes getting into college so much easier. I haven't gotten in yet, but just like, and this isn't to brag, but just as an example, I get constant emails from colleges, like nonstop wanting me to come tour and wanting me to apply and scholarship opportunities and different things like that like because i worked hard i got to be in national honor society and spanish national honor society that in the long run will benefit me so working hard while it can be exhausting at the time working hard is really beneficial for the future slacking off just puts you behind and honestly makes you feel stupid I'm so tired of sitting like that i'm getting so antsy i also just want to lay in bed and watch gilmore girls right now when you work hard, you get more favors. Maybe teacher pet behavior, but honestly, if it works, it works. My teachers know how hard I work. Now that I'm saying this, I hope none of them see this. My teachers know how hard I work and see how hard I work. So if there's a time that I forget to turn in an assignment or I forget about one, and I can just simply go up to them and, and say, I am so sorry. I completely forgot about this assignment. I promise it won't happen again. They're much more willing to give you an extension or you like just a grace. Seriously, you get away with a lot more. That's another thing. Be freaking respectful to your teachers. It makes me so mad when people aren't respectful to their teachers. Like, and I, I think it also helps when my mom is a teacher. But do you know how hard they work? It's really not that difficult, sweetie. Push yourself outside of your comfort zone. This is a lot coming from me because I'm not a person to do that. But I will say, thanks to my friends, I did do that. And high school, I think, is such a developmental part of your life. That's something I realized because I learned so much, not only about myself, but about the people around me in the world and what's really important. And I wouldn't have learned that if I didn't get pushed out of my comfort zone. Don't worry about relationships. Now, if you're in a relationship, congratulations. I applaud you because I haven't figured that one out yet. But personally, I used to be the type of girl that I wanted a boyfriend so bad. And I mean, there's still times obviously where I feel lonely and I'm like, I do want someone. But I think I've also learned, I've learned so much with guys this year, or this like past three years, it's not even funny. While relationships are good, I think especially freshman, sophomore year, it's such an important year and everyone grows so much physically and mentally. <laughs> but everyone grows so much that I think being in a relationship then isn't good. Like, something I learned is you have to fully love and embrace yourself before you can fully love someone else and open up to somebody else. And I feel like freshman and sophomore year especially, you don't have that yet. And that's okay. We all have to grow. But being focused on a relationship and worried about that is pointless. Plus, I came to find, like, school dances and everything. I've never had a date. It's more fun when you just go with your friends. But with that being said, like, in terms of guys 
don't be afraid to make the first move. Every single guy I've ever talked to, I have had to make the first move. I've had to get the ball rolling, you know? Don't be afraid of rejection. The worst I can say is no. i that. Also, lots of guys, not, not here. Not here. And they're not ready for a relationship. You're probably a lot more mature than them and they're not ready for a relationship. And so they act like douchebags. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. And a guy does not determine your worth. They do not determine how amazing you are and how lovable you are. I struggled a lot with that after my first rejection and my second one because the guys who did it made me feel like absolute crap. And I struggled a lot with my self-worth, but you shouldn't. I'm gonna say it right here. I'm 17 years old. I've never had a boyfriend. I'm a virgin. I haven't even had my first kiss yet. And that's okay. I probably won't end up having my first kiss until college at this rate. If that. And rushing it just makes everything uncomfortable. Don't stress. That's way easier said than done. That's coming from somebody who has so much anxiety and so much stress. It's not even funny. But I learned that lesson a lot this year in particular. I'm a big stressor. That's just who I am. But that stress got me extremely sick over the winter. And it's not like, oh, like cold sick or mono sick. No. I mean, like actual sick where we could not figure out what was going on for a long time. I was nauseous all the time, you know, actually feeling like, like I was going to get sick and then that would just freak me out more because I'm scared of getting sick. But, you know, I was nauseous and I didn't want to eat. And it wasn't that like, like I didn't want to eat. It was, I felt sick so I didn't want to eat. And so that would make me lethargic and tired. And at some, one point I almost passed out in the hallway just because I was not eating and we could not figure out what was going on. But I would eat and I would feel sick after eating and I just, nothing was good. And now come to find out I have food allergies and IBS. But the stress caused me pain, physical pain and illness. And that is not worth it. Even if your parents are strict about grades, my parents are strict about grades. And while that has pushed me, it has also stressed me out because I don't want to disappoint them. And it's not like it's their fault or anything. I just, I don't want to disappoint them. And sometimes that makes me stress out, but I have had to come to terms with myself that it's okay. I am someone who's gone straight A's for a really long time. And the thought of getting a B has stressed me out before. I've been that anal about my grades to the fact that if I see a B in the grade book, I have like a freaking mannerism. It's stupid. <laughs> One F does not define who you are. 30 years from now, is that F gonna matter? No. Are you gonna remember it? No. A week from when you take that test, is that F gonna matter? Probably not. What happens happens for a reason. And there's also a Chris Rice song called Eighth Grade and it's it was, why does the past always seem safer? Maybe because we know that we made it. And why do we worry about the future when every day comes the way the Lord ordained it? Boom. <laughs> Listen to them. You can't stress about it because it's, it's going to happen how it happens. With that being said, I have no more tips for you. If you want to call them tips, I guess advice. High school has lots of ups and downs and it's different for everyone but high school is definitely an experience not to take for granted people say don't take the time for granted and people have always told me that i'm like oh yeah whatever and it it's true because there are some good things that come from high school even if it has nothing to do with high school and just your own personal development like but at the same time i've always been the person that's like yeah whatever i hate high school i'm ready to get out of this place like i'm ready to leave my hometown i do i hate it here i don't i can't even Oh, I hate it here. Don't take it. Don't take the time for granted. In seriousness, though. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.